Hi, this is Ian McFarlane. This quick tutorial will cover managing your privacy settings in WordPress. So I'm at my home page in my dashboard for my Sci 101 example blog and I'm going to set my privacy settings now. So on the left hand side I'm going to scroll down until I get to settings. Okay, now I'm going to go to first the reading section. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to come down here and this is where you have the option of whether or not you want your blog to be public or not. So let's say I wanted my blog to be private. I was only going to show the other students in the class my blog. Okay, so I would come down here and select I want my blog, my site to be private, visible only to myself and others I choose. So then you come down here and save the changes. And as the page reloads, you will see that you have, um, now you have this option to invite viewers to your blog. Okay, and you'll select this here, um, and actually I will go through and add the email addresses for you. Um, so you just need to tell me that your uh, blog is going to be private, and make me, once you've made me the administrator for the account, I'll come in and do this part to make sure all the students have access to it. Okay, so that's the first part of the privacy settings. The other place you need to update the privacy settings is under the discussion tab. So click the discussion under settings and you want to click so that common authors must have their name and email filled out. Um, that may be set as your default. The other place to check is down here under before comment appears make sure the box that says comment author must have a previously approved comment is unchecked um, we want the comments from your classmates to post live um, as soon as they're made um, so go down to the bottom and click save changes and the last thing to change is under the general settings tab uh, change the time zone to U.S. Central Time. Uh, so scroll up to the U.S. and go to Chicago. This is a city in the same time zone as you. Uh, you can leave the date in whatever format you want, um, but I want the time in, um, in Central Standard Time. So just click Save Changes, and that's all there is to it. Check Moodle for more instructional videos, and I look forward to reading your blogs.